This is the issue residents here in the Duquesne Heights neighborhood call a danger. Large, deep cracks and a crumbling sidewalk in an area that sees hundreds of tourists regularly checking out some of the best views in the city and where residents say it is putting them and neighbors at risk. My chair can't go over top of the extremely large cracks in the sidewalk. That's where I'm stuck. For Tony Geyer, navigating her neighborhood is dangerous and frustrating. I have to go up to the next block and cross over to get onto the bus. Geyer has used a wheelchair for 25 years, and she tells me this section of Grandview Avenue is one of the worst. It's city-owned property. I can't see why the city can't repair their property. I have emails dated back to 2017 for them to do something about it. And I just keep getting a run around. Pat Gianella is a lifelong resident of Duquesne Heights. He says he has worried for years about those living in a nearby senior residence, the tourists that pack Points of View Park, and his neighbors like Geyer, who can't make it across a city sidewalk. If this was your sidewalk or my sidewalk, we'd be cited by the city and made to fix it. According to Pittsburgh's Code of Ordinances, all sidewalks and curbs shall be kept in a proper state of repair to be free from hazardous conditions and maintained in accordance with applicable laws, rules, guidelines, and policies. We reached out to the city about their obligation or plans, but haven't received any details. An embarrassment not only to our community, but to the entire city of Pittsburgh. This is one of our tourist attractions at Mount Washington. We get tons and tons of people up here. People are going into the street with their wheelchairs, and somebody's going to get hit by a car. And people are walking on it because they don't want to fall. So it's a major safety concern. Gianella tells me community members have reached out to city officials to address this issue, and they're hoping to have a meeting next month. In Duquesne Heights, Marcy Cipriani, Pittsburgh's Action News.